Nah, this last case is so hard. <sighs> Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. Back at differential equation exercises and this is part 2 of the video you have seen before. We want to deal with y prime being equal to y to the nth power over x to the nth power. And we want m and n to be element of the real numbers and we want to derive the general solution for y right now and see if we run into any kind of contradiction on our way. So let's go ahead and get started and I don't want to present several ways to solve this, I just want to solve it using the easy ways. Just to um, not track this video on forever. So at first I would like to divide both sides by y to the nth power, not equal to zero. So we end up with, um, let's put it that way, y to the negative nth power dy dx being equal to um, x to the negative nth power. And solving this is really quite easy. Just integrate both sides with respect to x. If you want, you can introduce a proper substitution. On this side, what are we going to end up with? Well, just 1 over 1 minus n times x to the 1 minus nth power plus some arbitrary constant c. On this side, well, it's basically the same. This is going to evaluate to 1 over 1 minus m y to the 1 minus mth power plus some arbitrary constant c, bring it to the other side, add it to the other constant. Nice. And now we can multiply both sides by 1 minus m. We don't want it to be equal to 0. So we end up with y to the 1 minus mth power being equal to 1 minus m over 1 minus n, x to the 1 minus n plus. And multiplying this with this constant is just giving us another constant, let's call it k. Okay, cool, and now we can just raise both sides by 1 over 1 minus mth power. So we end up with a general solution for y being equal to 1 minus m over 1 minus n, x to the 1 minus n plus k to the 1 over 1 minus mth power. And you might have guessed it, but we would run into some kind of contradiction if either n is equal to 1 because we would divide by 0, or m is equal to 1, because we would divide by 0 up here. So this is what we want to consider. And also we have considered the case before when n and m are both equal to 1 at the same time. There was a video before, and when m is equal to n. So this relationship right here only holds for n and m being element of the real numbers, but without 1. So just keep this in mind. And now we are going to consider the first of two different cases. So the first case I would like to consider is just this right here. n can be element of the real numbers without 1 and we want m to be equal to 1. We can just plug this information in. So we end up with y prime being equal to y to the first power over x to the nth power. And now we can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of y, not equal to 0, so that we end up with y to the negative 1th power dy dx being equal to x to the negative nth power. And now we can just like before integrate both sides with respect to x. And well, what is this going to evaluate to? This is the natural log of y plus some arbitrary constant c, bring it to the other side, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and this thing right here, we have evaluated it before. This is just um, 1 over 1 minus n times x to the 1 minus nth power plus some arbitrary constant c. And those are indeed equal. And now we can exponentiate both sides, use the exponential function on both sides. So we end up with y being equal to e to the 1 over 1 minus nth power, x to the 1 minus nth power, plus c up here, but we can use the exponential property to just multiply it by this constant e schlange. And this right here is indeed the general solution for y when the power of y is just 1. And now for the last case. Nah, this last case is so hard. You know how to solve this. This is just easy. So n is equal to 1 and m is element of the real numbers without 1. So those have just switched places. I didn't even rewrite it properly. I just added this little um, thing right here to the end to make an m out of it. <laughs> Sneaky boy. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's plug this information in. 
y prime is now equal to y to the mth power over x here in this case and now we can multiply both sides by the reciprocal of y to the mth power so that we end up with 1 over let's put it that way y to the negative mth power dy dx being equal to 1 over x and now we can integrate both sides with respect to x it's the same thing over and over again but those are practice videos i want you guys to practice and remember all the steps you need to take to solve something like this right hand side is going to evaluate to the natural log of x plus some arbitrary constant c and this side right here well this is nothing but 1 over 1 minus m times y to the 1 minus mth power and those are indeed equal and now we can multiply both sides by 1 minus m not equal to 0 we don't want that without 1 you remember <laughs> so we end up with y to the 1 minus mth power being equal to okay so we have 1 minus m times the natural log of x but we can use the natural log pro property to bring this into here as the exponent of x so let's put it that way so we have natural log of x to the 1 minus mth power plus and multiplying the reciprocal of this by the constant is just giving us some other constant let's call this constant uh, gamma for now why not why not use gamma as a constant and well now we can raise both sides by the reciprocal of this power right here so we end up with y being equal to the natural log of x to the 1 minus mth power to the oh no um plus this constant gamma to the 1 over 1 minus mth power i just had a little um thought process failure right here i wanted to just uh, use this power on here and then separately on here that would be fundamentally wrong but this right here is indeed the uh, uh, solution to this case right here and then we are already done so there's nothing left to do really so we have considered all the cases of this thing right here even when m is equal to n for both cases if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe and recommend me if you like if you want to support me a bit more link to my patreon is in the description you guys are just awesome and i love you guys i thank you so much for watching my videos and um, up until the next video have a culture and technique day see ya